Now, Swansea have become the first club to boycott social media in protest at online abuse and discrimination. Swansea players Jamal Lowe, Jan Danga and Ben Cabango have all been racially abused in recent weeks. And Lowe has been giving his reaction to the decision to our reporter, Rebecca Williams. I think it's just a strong front together that um, obviously everyone's with each other. Obviously, the players that have received the abuse and the players that haven't, obviously, we're, we're one team, one unit, and everyone's back in it. And you were one of the players that's received abuse. Talk us through what happened to you. It was after the Birmingham game, just getting a few messages through on my Instagram with um, just just pure racist abuse, really. I've, then I've obviously sent it over to the club and the, I think the Instagram pages have been deleted that sent the messages, but I just feel like more's got to happen because, like I say, the, the account gets deleted and they'll just make another one and, and carry on. And how does it make you feel when you read this kind of abuse, you know, in 2021? Um, it's more, I would say it's, it's, a sad, it's a sad thing to read, but at, at the same time, it's not a shock because of how, how frequent it happens in today's game. Obviously, it's 2021 and stuff like this is, is happening week in and week out. It's another case, whether it's within the Swansea team recently, which it has been. You see it in the media all the time, the in the top flight in the Premier League. So I would say it is a sad, it's a sad thing that we're still receiving this type of abuse, but we're not um, shocked or stunned by it. And, you know, you've got the likes of Jan in your team. Do you guys talk about it together? Yeah, we just say, obviously, just to, to keep our heads. Um, don't let anyone rile you up. Do you know what I mean? Don't rise to it. Don't don't react to it. But there comes a stage where if if we don't do something, the, the powers that be will do something, whether that's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or wherever, whatever the platform is that you're receiving this, to be able to have a verify account so people can be held accountable because at the minute no one knows who's abused any of us the account's deleted and they get on with their life so I think more has to be done from uh from the platforms really what, what do you want to see the platforms do what do you think they could do to make a difference for me it's it's a quite a simple solution I see if you've got an Instagram account or a Twitter account or whatever when you sign up put your email address in put your national insurance number in or put your passport number in or your driver's license number, something that can verify you as a person and can be linked back to who you really are and not just a page that you've created in five minutes and sent some abuse in and deleted it because that's a never ending, it's a never ending story. Ah, oh, the account's been deleted, can't trace this person down, can't see who it really is. They've got no followers, no posts. So, um, like I say, just verifying accounts, whether that's through address or some sort of code, like you say, a passport number, just so you know who it is.